Oh, we're back. Oh, I'm so comfortable in this recliner here. Tri-City <laughs> Furniture in Auburn with Kathy Kilborn. Make sure to get your cell phone out. We do have a QR code coming your way. Oh my gosh, Kathy, these are wonderful. <laughs> so people always ask me, I want to know a little bit more about Kathy. So before we talk about all of the history of recliners, Miss, tell us a little bit about yourself. How long have you been in the furniture business? A way long time. Wow. My <laughs> dad started the store in 1957, mm -hmm. and so I kind of have been here that whole time. He would make me come down and do a little dusting yes. and a little vacuuming. So you have that start mm -hmm. because you're around it. And back in the 60s, Furniture was a very family-oriented business. It actually still kind of is, but in that respect, we would he would close the store. We would pop in the car and go to Grand Rapids, where a lot of the furniture industry was being made at that time, and we would look at new furniture, yeah. and then we would come back home. So. My start was really as a child, and I heard how it was made, and I saw the fabrics in the 60s and the 70s yes. and the 80s. So there's been tremendous amount of changes, but growing up in it, your table talk at yeah. dinner was furniture. Markets, that was our little vacations. We'd go to market yeah. maybe in North Carolina or in Chicago. Really? So you you kind of get it. And now my daughter is in it as well. And she had that same upbringing. And so she would go on house calls with me. And, and so she has that insight as well. And when you've been in it yeah. for six decades, six decades wow. it, it gets you. You yes. so that that's what I can talk about way better than anything else because that's, that's what I'm used yeah, to. That's why we know now why you're the queen of furniture, why you know everything there is to know about furniture. It's in your blood, basically. Absolutely. Okay. And we go to markets yeah. and stuff and I don't go to buy. I go to learn. Oh. And so it really keeps you yeah. abreast of what's going on. And furniture constantly is changing. And we can see why you love what you do and why you have a passion for it. And you want everyone to be comfortable Absolutely. getting the right furniture. Okay, Kathy. So Absolutely. we're talking about European styles and uh, versus American style when it comes to recliners. This one is absolutely so comfortable. I could stay here all day. Yes. Well, the difference yeah. in product okay. from European to American is the European typically is lower to the floor okay. and it is smaller scaled. We see American product to be bigger, poofier. And, mm. and that's really kind of that main difference that's going on today. Yeah, I can really see the difference with this one. Kathy. Well, the thing about this, it's kind of like having a pillow top mattress. You have poof and and cush mm -hmm. everywhere. If you put your feet up, there's like a whole pillow mm. that is under your legs. So it, it offers a lot of cushioning and softness, especially if we've been out in the yard yeah. and doing some hard labor, gardening, <laughs> mowing lawns. We come in and now it's a cush that Oh, relaxes our body. Yeah, or and sitting feels at the so TV good. studio, even doing that, sitting at the TV studio after a long day. But I would love it. A lot of poof is great. Yes. Tell us, Kathy, how do you know the right recliner for you? How can you pick the perfect one? Well, it's important to have it fit you. Okay. And we, it's all about comfort. We don't buy one pair of shoes mm -hmm. and expect the whole family to fit. So I'm sitting in the more European style. It's a little lower. Mm -hmm. It allows for shorter legs. So I can push that ottoman in and out mm. and have the right support. But I'm shorter body. So it fits me better. But if I sit in that one, it's very comfortable. Mm -hmm. But my feet dangle. And so if I put my feet up, that's OK. But if I want to sit, it's not quite as comfortable because it's really like buying a too big of shoes and I don't fit it. Yeah. So it really is important to get the fit. Right. And I can see it's important to have your legs fit correctly Yes. on your chair. Okay. So tell me about this. It's not one size fits all when it comes Absolutely to... Absolutely not. So in European style, they will usually 
buy things that will last a long time, mm. okay? So we see them to be much more tailored. They like leather because leather is natural and much longer lasting. And they don't use the same kind of a mechanism. So in, in this kind of a chair, they're going to use an ottoman for my feet up but it's always there. Mm. So a little bit different because of what their expectation is for longevity. In American product, we like all that comfort and that squish, and we want to lean back and we want to um, relax and maybe take a, a, a nap. And so just the focus of our lifestyles have changed. Oh, wow. Anything else that we need to know when we're thinking about purchasing? Well, a lot of it is the comfort. The comfort, okay. So um, this kind of style chair fit a lot of people. Mm -hmm. And because of it being cold fused foam, and in the past we've talked about Dacron. And Dacron is used so much, but inside these pillows is mm -hmm. a lot of Dacron. Okay. So it does give us more of a cush. In this style, it's all foam. So, and again, we've talked about foam, holding its shape and keeping the support. So if you're buying a European styling, you're going to need to make sure it fits you correctly and, and has the right back support. I can lean back mm. easily, um, but it, it fits me. These chairs actually come too in sizes, so I can get maybe smalls, mediums, large. American manufacturers love big. Mm -hmm. Our houses are bigger. They love big. We love soft, so they're poofy. And so it really comes down to what do you like yes. and where are you comfortable? I love it. So if you want this poofy, wonderful, cushy <laughs> chair like I like, this is great. Or something sleek, European style. Kathy and, Kilborn, she has them all right here. Try well, and the thing is, is maybe yeah. you don't have space for True. this piece Very true. but you might in a corner in a smaller mm -hmm. den in the in the bedroom a smaller scale chair might actually fit better so keep that in mind yeah. because there definitely is a difference i have half of my showroom here okay. in european style and half in american style and you can completely see the difference between the two i mean there's there's one there's something for everyone here absolutely so many choices <laughs> thank you kathy appreciate thank you it. and thank you for watching this edition of design time